Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to provide a convenient search feature on your Google Sites website? In this tutorial, I will guide you through the process of adding a search bar to your Google Sites. You will learn how to customize the search bar appearance and much more. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once you have chosen the template that you are willing to go for, make sure that this template doesn't have any search bar. As an example, this one doesn't have it. So we can work on it and get the search bar out of it. As you can see here, even if I work here, you will get all the tools here. So we have no search bar in this section. As you can see, the announcements, everything here doesn't really have the search bar. So, how we can actually add a search bar to our menu? Well, you can't really add it to that specific menu that you have. That's why you really have, in that case, to start with a blank page. Starting with a blank page would give you the possibility to actually get the search bar in your website. Here, for example, there is some template, as you can see this one. If I clicked on it, let me wait until it loads for us. So this one got the actual search bar if you want to here and you will find it in the tools. But other template they will not have it. So what shall we do in that case? So let's go to our blank page first. Here we go guys. And now I'm going to click on here on a new tab and then I will search for ChatGPT. ChatGPT is the one who get, gonna help us to get out of this problem. So let's wait for ChatGPT to be opened and I will be right back to you guys. So here we are guys. So now what I'm going to do is give me an embed code for search bar. Here we go. Uh, now let's give it some time. And I will ask it also to include the menu there. Uh, just stop this, include the menu with it. If it is possibly, uh, let's see, certainly is an updated example that includes a search bar along with a simple menu. So this is pretty good. So now what are we going to do is simply wait for it until it is done and then copy this HTML code. So here we are, copy from this HTML to the end. Don't miss anything, not even a symbol. And then let's click on next. And here it is. So now we have a simple menu with the search bar in our uh, Google Sites website. Now you might tell me, all right, it is not looking that good. It is pretty much dry. So what we can do in this case, basically you can't really do something. Uh, we can ask it to make it look better here and let's see what's the difference but in general since we are not really using css um it will not really help us to do anything so we can literally just use some simple code using html but in general without css we can't really do that great of design so let's see how does it look like now after this updated version that it, that we asked for so next and this is pretty much better to be honest this is pretty much good uh, i can accept that i can live with that here you have the home page about page and the contact page here you have the menu uh, the search bar and the search button so this is a good thing to have uh, instead of this so you can even ask it for a specific thing specific colors specific stuff uh, specific phones everything here will be actually uh, dependent on what you want based specifically here you have even the urls for each of the page so you can change it by your own later on make sure to change this hashtag to uh, home to home about to about contact to contact so once you click on these buttons they are actually going to be functioning not gonna be just like random buttons in here that will take you to a random page so it will not work like that you have to actually edit these uh, uh hashtag but uh, symbols and add uh, the page itself so here you can create a page copy the link of that page and then paste the hashtag over here so it can start functioning by its own so this is a way of adding the search bar menu to your google site in case you were asking me is there any other way to actually add it well unfortunately there is no way to add it to your website 
Uh, you might find it in some of the templates, not all of them, but yeah, uh, not all of them actually will give you this opportunity to add the search bar. Uh, sometimes it will appear, sometimes it will not. Here, pages, maybe here, uh, full page end. Here, we can add new link. We can add, for example, here code. Done. Uh, add embed code. Here we go. Insert. Uh, yeah, like here we go. This is an embed code. We have added it uh, We can only just go here and change the name of the page to something that uh, for example search Like that and here we go. We have now this search page But in general it is not possible for you to add like size Google search bar even if you search here in the size Google search bar you might find some solutions but yeah, there is some solutions actually from Google that I've seen, but they are not that good. They are basically like not search bars for your website, but they are more like search bars for Google. So it's like having the Google browser in your website. So once they, for example, they come write Cristiano Ronaldo, and eventually they will take it to a page where like that, Cristiano Ronaldo, like a page of Google, normal page with like images of him, uh, biography of him, and much more. So this is what I meant with the Google search bar. But otherwise, if you want a really specific search bar of your website, you really have to be good at programming and coding. And if you're not good with that, you can just ask ChatGPT to do the work for you. So it is a very useful tool to have between your hands if you're not that good with coding. So guys, before we end with this video, I will show you here three things before we end it. So, as I said and mentioned before, you can add the search bar to take you to Google itself, so directly to Google. So, what is the code to do so? Simply this one. So here, this this article on Reddit that explains it. So simply, you just have to copy this code from here, from actions googlecom search, type text, name Q, submit value search, and this will help you add it to your site. And people, once they search anything on your site, it will directly take them to the Google search engine. So here, when it's done, so if you can implement or you want to implement search bar on any other website like other than Google Sites, well, you can actually do it if you are good enough with coding, good enough with uh, JavaScript and CSS and HTTPS, and then you just have to follow these steps. So you'll have to first have a custom Google search. So what to do is to add a, to your site a link like this. So HTTPS, xyz.github.io, try dot uh, star and then you just have to add the code body tag both scripts and dev into your script and then as you should go to the search console and add your site there and verify it by putting google's html verification file to root of repo and overall if we even try to ask chat gpt for it here we go so these are the same information that i give to you so you can only add Google custom search engine or you can use some third-party tools as there is like various third-party tools available that provide search bar fraction for Google sites one of the popular one is uh, the awesome table uh, in Google sites you, if you go to the add-ons menu and select get add-ons you can search for awesome table and click on the plus free button and it will be installed on your site but other than that there is no way to actually have a search bar menu that is functioning not as the one that I've made for you the one that I've made for you guys is something that will only be like a design on your site so it will not really function since we don't have the permission to do so but overall these two are actually the ones to go for and yeah this is the code that i've told you before make sure to use it in case you'd like to add google search engine to your website and that was it for today's video guys thanks a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial